a number of MPs who have been pretty vocal in their criticism of Boris Johnson for a while. I think that is broadening. You get the sense from some of the people that are now coming and speaking out that what's happened is they've told their constituents they'd wait for Sue Gray. Sue Gray has now come out and there is an expectation perhaps from some of their saying there is still a big question mark over what happens next. Speaking to Conservative MPs, there are still some that want to see what happens in coming weeks. There are a couple of really important by-elections coming up. There are people that want to see how those measures around the cost of living land with their constituents before they make a decision. So I think there is still a lot of uncertainty. And for all of the critics of Boris Johnson, of course, there are some in the party that are loyal to to him. And his allies point out, you know, they say in their view there is no alternative to Boris Johnson and they will stay pretty nervous. Uh, and briefly, Alex, if you would, where are we more broadly with, with the question? of parties after uh, the Sugre report? Well, there have been allegations continuing to come out, reports in the newspapers over the weekend. Uh, and number 10 at the moment is saying that the Sugre report was wide range. Alex, thank you very much. Alex Forsyth in Westminster for us. He said the government had a duty to act against rising gun violence. A national freeze on... Murray has told the BBC... ...mass shooting at a school in Texas has evoked memories of his own experience surviving the Dunblane massacre of 1996. In a wide-ranging interview, he also shared his thoughts on the decision to ban Russian and Belarusian players from Wimbledon following the invasion of Ukraine and shared his own ambition. Like, it's always, there's always talk about it being something political. But I... Ambitions haven't diminished in recent years. His chance...